This is Larry Bonarato from LarryOnLearning.com, and this is your Morning Minute. It's the relationship, not just a sale. Louise sells women's shoes at a mall department store, hundreds of pairs each week. Her clients will only buy from her. Because she has a relationship with her clients, she rarely needs to handle walk-in customers. She keeps records of who bought what. Plus, she uses her email list to stay in touch with her clients, letting them know about new styles and upcoming sales. For her special guests, she calls them every couple of months to inquire about their families. Louise loves her clients. They love her back. Phil sold cars at a dealership in Florida, averaging 60 vehicles per month. He was so successful, he hired his daughter to handle the paperwork. Phil kept records of who he sold, what they bought, what cars were in the household, when they anticipated replacing them. He also knew about their children and when they'd start driving. Because he had a relationship with each family, all his business came from those families. Phil loved his clients. They loved him back. Tracy sells houses. She's a top agent for a large real estate firm selling dozens of homes each year. Because of her relationship with her clients, she knows when their needs change, when they need more room, when they need to downsize, when they may be relocating out of town, and when they have a family member or friend who needs a home. She keeps accurate records of these clients, staying in touch with them via email, direct mail, and telephone. Tracy loves her clients. They love her back. Here's the secret. The first sale you make should be your hardest sale. You have no relationship with the buyer until you sell them. Unfortunately, that's the last sale most people make because they don't create a relationship with the buyer. Great salespeople invest the time and energy into getting to know their clients, staying in touch with them, and being available to answer questions and help with issues. Because of their relationship with their clients, clients always think of them first when they need something. Great salespeople love their clients. Their clients love them back. In addition to having terrific relationships with their clients, great salespeople have the following five traits. First, truthfulness. They're honest with their clients, taking great pains never to deceive them. Second, accountability. They feel and display a sense of responsibility of always being mindful of their clients' best interests. Third, they support their clients by staying in touch with them, answering their questions, and helping with any problems. Fourth, trustworthiness. Because truth comes before trust. They always present options so that the client can choose the option which is best for them. And fifth, engagement. By staying in touch and available to their clients, getting to know them and their families, they create great relationships. So, you can be a salesperson making one sale at a time to one person. Or you can be a great salesperson assisting customers with empathy as you provide great service. Then you turn that customer into a long-term client by establishing a personal relationship with them, knowing about their family, their work, and their interests. Remember, make a friend, then make a sale. So, which approach will you take as a professional salesperson? And remember, it's the relationship, not just a sale. And that is today's Morning Minute.